remember recently we did a video on uh, Total Drama Island and uh, that's an animated version of this, this reality show, uh, Survivor, well whatever, in this case uh, Thailand. Um, in the other video we talked about uh, 10 being equal to 9.99999. Uh, uh, you can check it out right there. Um, but here it's, it's actually about the real thing and every once in a while something interesting mathematical comes up in these reality shows. And here, um, well, in this particular competition they had uh, a, a nice game that yields itself to a very uh, cute mathematical analysis. So we'll do that now. Welcome guys. First things first, as always, give it up, Jan. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> Immunity, the most coveted prize in this game, back up for grabs. To win it, simply have to outsmart the other tribe. Today's challenge is all mental. It's called Tie 21. Here's how it works. There are 21 flags in this circle. Your goal, be the tribe to get the last flag. Here's the twist. On each move, you can only grab one, two, or three flags. So clearly, the strategy lies in determining how many flags to grab and when to grab them. All right. Now, just imagine you are with Giuseppe. You're on the team? <laughs> All right. So you're on the team, and uh, you, know, you have to figure out what to do. Right? So again, what, what's the, what are the rules of the game? You've got 21 flags in a circle. Okay. We've got two teams. And they're going to take turns picking up flags from the circle. And you have to take at least one flag on every turn, but you can take either one or two or three. And then whoever picks up the last flag is the winner. Okay? Okay? Cool? Yeah. And I mean, I mean, you just look at it in 21 and, you know, it looks pretty daunting. It's a lot of flags. Um, so, um, I mean, what do you do? Well... In mathematics, when you're encountering something like this, the best strategy is to actually kind of think about what would happen if you're dealing with smaller numbers. So 21 is maybe something that you can't handle in one go, so let's just go for something really small. Let's just say there was just one flag in the circle, okay? So we're just putting one flag in the circle. What would you do? I would pick it up and win. Correct. <laughs> so that, that's, an, that's an easy game. So, uh, okay, what about, what about if I put two, two flags in the circle? What do you do? Well, I'm allowed to pick two up, so I can pick both up and win. You win, right, okay. What about, what about three now? Even three, I can still pick three up. Yeah, okay. Now comes the tricky one, okay? Now comes the tricky one. Four, okay? Four, you can't pick up four, right? You can't pick up four. Um, so what, what are your choices now? You can either pick up one, two, or three. Which one you go you go for? Well, it looks like no matter what I do, I'll lose. Um, that's actually exactly right. So if you pick up one, you know, the other guys are going to take three. If you pick up two, the other guys are going to pick up the remaining two. And if you pick up three, there's still one left that the other people can pick up, so they win. So four is bad. <laughs> so whenever you, 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 you can manage so that after you move, you know, there's four left, you're guaranteed to win. Okay. So what about five? If it started out with five, what do you do? What do you do? Hmm, think about it. A bit tricky, right? Five. Ah, right? well, if four is bad, all I have to do is leave four. So I'll just right. take that one up. You just pick that one up. The other people left with four, and we've already figured out four is bad, right? So <laughs> bad. Uh, it, actually, now it gets pretty easy. If I add another flag here, starting out with six, what do you do? Well, same thing. I'll try to leave four for them so that I can win. Right, so you just pick up two, right? And then the next thing, same thing again, right? So if, if three, you can just take away those three. They're left with a bad situation. Uh, and, well, coming up is eight. Now, let's think about that one, right? <laughs> so eight choices. Well, it would be nice to pick up, be able to pick up four because then the other people are left with four, but we can't do that. So we pick up one, for example. But then what happens? Well, they can pick up three and leave me with four. With bad, right? And same sort of problem. Eight is bad. Yeah, eight is bad. Eight is just bad. Four is, four is bad. Eight is bad. And now you probably can guess what else is bad. All multiples of fours are bad. <laughs> so 12 is bad, 16 is bad, and 20 is bad too. And that's, we're getting pretty close to 21. Right? And now what are we doing in general as a strategy? 
well, so we, we've got 21 at the moment. Say we're starting. What are we aiming for? We want to leave the other people in a bad position. So we're taking? Only one. Only one, correct. So we're taking one, run that they do whatever they want to do. And then we can somehow leave them with 16, right? And then they do whatever they want to do. And we can leave them with 12. And so on down to the bad four, and then we win, right? So basically, the people who start, if they know what they're doing, they should win. Sukja, you won the coin toss. You elected to go first. Make the first move. Let's grab one, two. Ooh, that is not looking good. Two people are heading for the flags. Ah. Sukja takes two flags on their first move, leaving 19. Okay, so we've got 19 left over, and obviously they didn't figure out what the strategy is. I mean, we shouldn't be too hard on them, right? I mean, maybe they just had like a minute or so to figure out what's, what's got on, right? Or maybe they didn't invite any mathematicians or you know, whatever. Anyway, so what do the other people do? Do they figure out what's happening? Because they could win now, right? They could just go down to 16 and win. Chewy gone, make your move. Chewy gone also takes two. No, sorry. Very simple game with huge Very simple game. After one round, we're down to 17 flags. Correct, 17 flags. So what do the other people do? Well, they go down to 15. No, didn't know anything. Uh, 14, 13. So obviously, they just kind of take turn uh, picking up flags. They don't know what they're doing. So let's try to see what the other people are doing and um, you know, you know, see better at some point in time they see something. Okay, then eventually there are 12. Now, that would be, you know, <laughs> a, a bad position for the other people who are now, whose turn it is now. But uh, let's just see whether this is on, on purpose or it's just by coincidence that we end up with 12. What do the other people do? Well, 11, that's fine. Now, are they going to be down at 8 or not? No, I missed out on it again. Yeah. So, nobody sees anything. I mean, they should really see it by now, you know. Of course, high pressure and all this. Anyway, they didn't see it. So they go down to six. Now let's see it. So they've got the four, and now they don't lose. But well, they can't lose, really. <laughs> and then that's it, right? So, um, you know, pretty nice game, and a pretty nice one to play with, with uh, you know, kids, for example. Uh, and they can all figure it out after a while. And obviously, you can, can make variations to this. You can pick up, you know, one to five, or one to six, or something else. And um, yeah, it's a nice game. And if you like this, we've got another video uh, which does similar things, kind of pick up stuff. Uh, it's, a, it's a video about a very famous movie last year at Marienbad. And the game there uh, is called NIM. It's a very famous mathematical game. So if you kind of like this one, it's a gentle introduction to, to the other one on Marienbad. So a question about this is if you're changing the game to uh, have, like then now you're allowed to pick up four or five, is it that then the uh, n plus one multiple of n plus one are all the bad ones? That's so right. It's yeah. always like that. That's the uh, pattern. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool.